We all work hard for our money, so you want to make sure that you're spending it wisely, whether you're a business owner and trying to maximize your profits, or you're a consumer and you want to save as much money as possible. The two things we're going to look at in today's video are markups. On a markup, it's just like a percent increase, which we've already studied about. And in this example, it tells you that a business needs to sell their product for a higher price so that they can make a profit. And making a profit means you earn more money than you spend. The other thing we're going to study today is a markdown. A markdown is just like a percent decrease. When a business lowers the price, that is called putting in a discount or they're giving their customer a discount. There's several different kinds of discounts that a business can give customers. We have several discounts listed, but they're usually presented as percents. So that's when we're going to call this a percent decrease. How are we going to solve these problems when we're faced with a markup or a markdown? The steps are very similar to the ones we've already done in previous homeworks. Number one is still the same. We're going to set up the proportion, which has the two fractions in it. One of the fractions will have the prices, and the second fraction has all your percent information. Once you set up your proportion, it's going to look like this. And then the steps to finding your answer, you will cross multiply, then we divide, and then depending on if it is a markup or a markdown, we're going to do two different things. Markup means we're going to add and get a new price. If we're doing a markdown, we're going to subtract to get the new price. The first example we're going to look at is dealing with a skateboard purchase. The original price of a skateboard is $45. Denton Skate Shop needs to mark up the price 60% in order to make a profit. What is the retail price of the skateboard after the markup? We've been using some strategies where we look and first answer what is the question asking for. So when you look at the end of this problem, it says, what is the retail price of the skateboard after the markup? So that tells me I'm going to be adding because it says there's a markup and I want to know the price after I mark it up. To solve this problem, we're going to set up our proportion or our two fractions. The first fraction is going to have our money amounts. The original price of the skateboard is $45. I don't know how much they're going to mark it up. I do know that the percent that's going to be marked up is 60%. And percents are always out of 100. It said step two was cross multiply. 45 times 60. And when I multiply this, I'm just going to leave the zero out to the side and I'm going to drop it down in my answer. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 3, 25, 26, 27. So right now I have 2,700. The last step is divide by 100. That's the number we haven't used yet. And there's a really quick, easy way to divide something by 100. You take the number like it is. You put a decimal at the end of the number if there isn't one. And then you bump it back two times. And then put in your decimal. So if I had 27, now decimal point zero zero, that is the same thing as just 27. I'm going to shrink that so I have some more space. So if we're going back and reading the question that says, what is the retail price of the skateboard after the markup? The skateboard first was $45. 
it's going to get more than $45. And we're going to add the amount of the markup. The markup right now is $27. So I am going to do $45 plus $27. And 45 plus 27 is 72. So now I'm going to say that the new retail price of the skateboard is $72. Example 2. The original price of a Samsung S7 Edge is $672. Best Buy is having a sale and all cell phones are discounted 35%. What is the discounted price of the Samsung S7 Edge phone? So some things we want to know about this. We have a discount of 35%. A discount means the price is going to get cheaper. So if your price gets cheaper, you're going to have to subtract at the end to get the new amount that you would pay for the phone. If we set up this question just like we did the last one, you're going to make your proportion. We already said that the discount was 35%. So my percent fraction has 35 over 100. Then I'm going to go back and look at the original price of the phone. It says the original price of the phone is $672. So I'm going to put $672 on the bottom. Once you get your proportion set up, we are going to cross multiply. 672 times 35. Um, 2 times 5 is 10. 5 times 7 is 35. Plus 1 is 36. And 5 times 6 is 30. Plus 3 is 33. Then I'm going to put in a placeholder 0. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 6 is 18 plus 2, 19, 20. I'm going to add this together. So right now I have as my added answer 2, 3, 5, 2, 0. The number we haven't used is 100. So I'm going to divide 23,520 by 100. And in the last um, slide, I said an easy way to divide by 100 is put a decimal at the end if you don't already have one in your number, and then bump it back twice. Put in your new decimal. Now when you read your number, it says 235 decimal point 20. 235.20. Now we already said up at the top, when you get a discount, that means you have to subtract. I'm going to take the original price, $672, and I'm going to subtract $235.20. So if we subtract this, Got to borrow. Going to get 0 minus 0 is 0. 10 minus 2 is 8. I got to borrow again for this. 11 minus 5 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. And 6 minus 2 is 4. Now I'm going to shrink this a little bit so you guys can see. Whoops. I'll just move it all out of the way. Okay, so this is what I got as my subtracting answer. This would actually be the final answer. The price of the phone after the discount 
is $436.80. Hopefully this gave you a helpful uh, reminder on how to deal with percent increases or decreases. And today's lesson called markup and markdown was the exact same as before. It's just dealing with purchasing and selling.